What's up everybody? We have Yamoja versus Hell today, and I've been told this matchup is impossible. So let's see what happens. I've lost it the three times I've played it because Hell has so much mobility and she can cleanse herself. But we'll see, maybe we can win. I'm gonna try as weird as it sounds, I'm gonna try uh auto attack build. Yep, that's right. I'm gonna try an auto attack build on Yaboja. And we'll see what happens. Um can I go? Where do I want to go? Sprint? Sprint or... Blink, I think I'm... I'm thinking blink because I can blink with my alt position it so she can't get out. But that's only going to work until she gets phantom. The only way, the only way I see myself winning this game is if she does not get phantom. Because then I can just nuke her down in that. Hello, Joseph. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I think she's going for her blue, but not sh too sure. Don't see her, so we should be able to just take this. Yeah, she's not. She's taking her, her blue buff, so we'll just take this. Um, this is fine as long as we get our blue buff. If we don't, then it's not good. Uh, oh, these auto attacks hit pretty hard. These auto attacks hit pretty hard. But the reason I want to try auto attack Yamoja is because every time I play her and I'm against some speedy god, I lose because they can just run outside of all my abilities. But I feel like if I have auto attacks on top of my abilities, then they can't do that. That's my thought process anyways. That way I have a little bit of Yamoja's kit and auto attacks. Like right now, you can kind of see that that is working tremendously. Who knows, for all... And I feel bad because someone came into my chat um, when Yamoja came out and they asked, Have you ever, do you think auto attack Yamoja would be good? And I, I said, no, I think it would be awful. And I was, I was so sure of it. But you know what? After playing a lot of Yamoja, I really want to try it. This is my first game trying to auto attack with Yamoja. Um, she is going to get buffed. And I think with her buff that her abilities are going to be bigger. And she won't have such a hard time against movement speed gods that can just, you know, run out of every single ability so you know after the new patch uh i don't think it'll she'll need to go out attack but i want to try it i want to try it and when i was told this matchup was impossible by a hell with like five stars so that's kind of part of it as well mm -hmm. now i'll probably go I'll probably still go cooldown boots because Emoja still needs her cooldown. But, but yeah. Okay, let's, not including me trying out this auto attack game, I would say full cooldown Emoja is very good. Um, but still hitting your opponent is still the hard time if they go a lot of move speed. It's kind of like Terra, where if they get enough move speed, they can kind of juke everything. But Emoja is better because she's ranged. She can't heal herself, but still. Let's see. Nice thing about Emoji, of course, is that she can stun towers. Very nice. Only god in the game that can do that. Or run can slow towers down, but, you know. Ooh, but see how fast she is. See how she can just get out of everything. Hmm. I think if I ult over her blue buff, I, I don't think it goes far enough to actually trap her. I could try and see. No, I don't think it does. Let's just back. If she tries to come over here, then we can ult and kill her. Good stuff. Good stuff. I personally don't think uh, Aegis is very good against Yumoja because you get stunned and then she just shoots you with everything else. Uh, it depends. Depends on the emoji you're fighting. If the emoji is just throwing out her abilities as fast as possible, whether you Aegis or not, then yeah, that's good. Uh, beads, I think, is pretty good, but Phantom, I think Phantom is the best relic against her. Because then her ultimate becomes pretty useless. It becomes only an Omi regen. Uh, she's probably gonna try to steal this, yeah. Unfortunate, that's okay. Just throw some auto attacks at her and get out. Nice thing about going auto attack is we can go Divine Rune and Toxic Blade against her. Because last time I fought the Hell and... I was told it was an impossible matchup. It was pretty close, and I actually started transitioning into auto attack, and I was doing pretty good. And that's what I kind of thought about. I was thinking, if I had Toxblade, Divine Ruin, and some auto attack on top of that, 
I might have been able to win. So we'll see. Especially with the Hunter's Blessing. The Hunter's Blessing is hitting surprisingly hard in this early game. Oh, I thought that's thunder. Awkward. Awkward. Probably go Tox Blade before Divine Rune, but you know. I don't think we want to stay here. We'll probably just want to go for our own buff and get out. You know, it looks like she's not staying either. The sooner we get our anti-heal, the better. Especially since she is going Bancrofts as well, interestingly enough. A lot of Hells go Bancrofts for the Snowball. And one thing you can do against Hell is actually rush anti-heal. Uh, but eh, I kind of just wanted the Bancrofts for some. So that my auto attacks actually have some damage. I feel like if I rushed an uh, anti-heal, my auto attacks would not be hitting hard at all. But we'll see, we'll see. Also, um, I said I was going to test some stuff with Emoja after last full gameplay I did with her. And Kronos Pennant does work with her Omi, like she gets Omi for it. And same thing with Genji's. Just, that's important for people to know. The Kronos Pennant will give you Omi and the Genji's will as well. It's a good amount to it. It's like almost one full Omi. Not quite though. Emoja's really back at stalling people's backs as well, which is good. Looks like she is going to stay. I'm going to uh, delay the wave. Just so that she has to stay even longer. She's out of mana. Ooh. Oh, I probably should alter here, actually. She has nowhere to go. Now we just wait. That Aegis helped her out there, but are you going to stay for this next wave again? You going to stay for an entire wave again? You can do that infinitely only at the Phoenix. I don't know. It's weird. I'll show it in this video. You can stall the wave infinitely, kind of. Oh, shoot. I'm actually taking damage. She looks like she's finally back in. Ooh, Hunter's Blessing Evolve, that is fantastic. Also, I will get red buff here. Here, I'm actually gonna launch the minions forward. That way we can put some pressure. Also, again, my two is useless in duel. It does not help. <laughs> I love doing that with you, Mojo. My two, my two costs three Omi. It's really not worth it to use. My one does more damage. The only time my two is worth it in duels if my opponent has a shield, and even then, probably want to max the one anyways. Like, there is never a situation where I will use my two instead of my one in this game. There is never a situation. Obviously, late game, I'll put some points in it, and maybe, just maybe there will be a chance, but no, nah, I'll probably just use the one. Okay, so we need uh, shoguns. We can go shoguns here. That's good. Obviously, I want Toxic Blade, Divine Ruin. Maybe Pestilence, maybe Pestilence. That's a lot of anti-heal, but Hell's Passive actually allows her to increase her uh, her healing in Light Stance. And uh, right there, you can see why she's good. Battle. That's okay. I still get the Omi regeneration from my ultimate, so that's still okay. It's not ideal. Ooh, look at that healing, though. And that movement speed, she can just go straight past any... She can just go straight past anything I have. Okay. I think I'm dead either way, but we'll see. No, she's not gonna dive me. Perfect. Okay, we need some anti-heal. Do I want Chris Donk? Probably. Probably. Let's get it. It's a lot of anti-heal, but you know. Okay, Toxic Blade, next item. Toxic Blade, perhaps Divine Ruin. I still value the Shoguns more than the, the Pestilence here, because a lot of times she's going to be healing out of range of my Pestilence, and I will still have Toxic Blade and Divine Ruin applied, whereas I won't have Pestilence applied, you know? 
I don't know, it depends. It depends. She's completely out of mana. She has blue buff though. Let's try and push these minions. They get protections too, so they won't die as easily now. Can stun the tower. Perfect. Good stuff. Also, with an auto attack build, I can take uh, Bull Demon a lot easier. So who knows? Maybe, maybe this is the build to go. Maybe this is the build to go. It feels good, but I know late game health always catches me off guard. Always. She just gets so powerful, just so fast. Are we on the Toxplay? Toxplay gives us movement speed too, which is fantastic. Looks like she's going for a Genji's herself. Still has, hasn't gotten her second relic. That could, if that's a horrific, that could be trouble for us, but I don't entirely think so. Yeah, so you'll notice how she can juke my abilities pretty easily. Got one of it there. I'm probably going to alter here. Depends, though. Oh, <laughs> that was bad. That was pretty awkward. Pretty awkward. Whatever. That was bad ult. Bad ult, okay. I know that was bad. We don't really want to fight her until we get our Tox Blade. Like, we can try and poke her out, but in the end, she's just going to be healing too much. I should have ran. Should have listened to my own advice. Um, uh, this is fine. We're going to lose tower and red buff, but we're still getting our build online. Yeah, I, I, I kind of knew I should have ran, but I didn't. That's my fault. That's okay. <sighs> Hell does so much damage. She is very strong in the right hands. Hell's what I think Hell is one of the best dual gods if it is in the right hands. Like I don't think this is a masters player because I've never played against them, but maybe it is. I don't know. I have no idea what rank they are, but I do know in the right hands it does very well. I have a suspicion they're not. They're probably diamond or plat just because they are playing a lot differently than the upper Hells I fight. But maybe this is good practice for me rather than jumping into the. The deep end against a really, really good hell. We're going against uh, average hell, I guess. That's pretty. That's good. I think she's gonna back here. Actually, we can maybe go straight for Bulldemon if she's backing, because she just scouted out Bulldemon and now she's backing, right? So maybe we can just try and rush this down. We'll see. Have it at one quarter. The auto attacks are helping. I'm gonna alt it. Get some Omi regeneration. Alright, that's good. That's good. I'm out. I have no idea why she was gone for so long. Maybe she was waiting for an item in base. No, it doesn't look like it. But that's good. That's good. Oh, I should actually upgrade Kristonk here. This Toxic Blade. Toxic Blade is such a good item. 30% attack speed, 15 pen. Very good. Like, very good item. Of course, the 40% anti-heal. You can keep it applied all the time just because auto attacks are always up. Yeah. I don't have any damage, though. I don't have, like, a telekines. You know what I mean? Yeah, Toxblade ran out. She's going to heal all of her health. Even though I have Bull Demon, I don't think I'm going to be able to take her Phoenix. Because, yeah, I don't have Demonic. I don't have Toxic Blade. I mean, I don't have... I do have Toxic Blade. I don't have Telekines. Without Telekines, our auto attack damage is not going to hit that hard. Dang, she is fast. There we go. That's good. Alter. She's done. 
Oh, she went a different direction, though. Oh, you went terrific, dude. Why'd you go horrific? Unlucky. Can I hit an auto attack, dude? Oh my god. <laughs> what a weird fight. I don't I don't I don't know if auto attack you just the strat, but because I missed so many auto attacks there, but I mean we just killed her. That's pretty good, right? It's gotta count for something. I'm able to take Phoenix because I have auto attack, so. I don't know if this is a good example of auto attack we budget, but hey, it's fun. Let's replace our wards. I don't know if red buff is actually up, or if I just don't have vision of it. I'm not gonna go for it though, I think I need blue buff more anyways. And then now we will save our Omi, so that we have full Omi next fight. Perfect. Alright, now let's get Divine Rune. Yes. Well, do I need Divine Rune or do I need, like, Telekines more? Let's get Divine Rune. Because she has Bancrofts. She has way more healing than a normal hell. And of course, flat penetration is always nice. Always nice to have. Looks like she did get red buff. Okay. She got red buff now, I mean. I could have gotten it, but with her movement speed, it would have been a little risky. She also, also, completely forgot to point out, she did not get Phantom, so our ultimate is great. We want to be using our ultimate as much as possible, pretty much. It's really hard to predict where she's going. Yeah, that was bad of me. Luckily, we can run away pretty well. Oh, she does a really good job at outboxing us. I wonder if she's going to get Wing Blade. If that's Wing Blade, then yeah, I am very glad I got Auto Attack because once you get Wing Blade against Emoji, it's really hard to confirm anything. The abilities are just way too slow. And when Emoji gets buffed, her abilities are going to be slightly bigger. I think she'll be able to deal with gods like this a lot easier. A lot easier. My ultimate is down. Let's just let's just dig it at that relic for relic. I don't know if I still should get a Kronos pennant for the for the extra Omi, but I think I need Telkines more. Let's just get Telkines. It's gonna come down to our auto attacks with this type of build, you know. Ooh, she healed all of her health. And that wing blade though. Nah. It's really hard to confirm things on her right now. Whew. Some more defense might be nice because she, just, she has no percent pen. I mean, I don't die there, but still. Or even an ethereal, maybe? She doesn't have a crazy amount of health, but a, a good chunk, you know? A good chunk of health. Ooh, are those minions going to take it, Phoenix? No. Barely. Barely. I mean, I could probably just take them if she backs here. Now we can force her not to back, which is pretty great. Oh my gosh, she is so fast. Maybe I need a haste ring. And juke the abilities. Man, she has so much MP5. Where did you get all that MP5 from, huh? Where did you get all that MP5 from? Could try to alter here. Is she in it? No, she got out of it. Unfortunate. Unlucky, dude. Ah. 1,100 from that one. Including both forms, even more. 
Ah, oh, it's so expensive. Hal is so strong. She's so broken, too. I don't know what we're going to do. This auto attack's not really working because... Because, unfortunately, she's too fast. I While I'm auto attacking, I'm slow and she can hit everything. And, well, I can't hit anything because she has the so much move speed. It's unbelievable. Really, dude? If you if she backs here, I'm gonna go after Bull Demon. Literally, Genji's is giving her so much MP5. <laughs> Look at that move of speed. Look at that move of speed and tell me that that is fun to fight. Holy moly! Auto attacks do nothing right now. We need telekines if we want auto attack to work. Otherwise, no, it's just not gonna work. It's not gonna happen. Can't even go for Bull Demon because she'll come back in time. As the game goes on, Bull Demon scales in health, and right now it has t way too much health to try and like sneak. She got Grown Spend it. How much for telekines? Well, we can do it. All right, let's see. I don't have Power Potion. But each shot of Talakan should be doing about 32 damage. That's not that much. That's not that much at all, especially without Demonic. We have to sell boots for Demonic. I have a lot of flat pen, which is the only reason we're doing okay right now. She only has 15 pen. That's it, you know. Oh, my auto... Oh yeah, Talcon sits for more because it has base damage as well. I can't hit her, dude. She has too much move speed. Am I not hitting her Phoenix? Oh, I actually moved the Phoenix. There's a bug with that. With uh, There's a bug with that right now, unfortunately. Yeah, I moved the Phoenix by accident. Oh my god, I moved the Phoenix and that almost screwed me over. But we won. Or we won, killed the Phoenix. Which is good. Alright, I think we're going to do what we call the infinite minion strat, okay? Now this is, this is fun. This is fun. It takes some time, but Yamoja can build up infinite minions. I've always done it on chaos side. I don't know if you can do it on the order side, but we're about to find out. Oh, I don't have Chronos Pennant, though. I don't think I'll be able to do it with Chronos Pennant, but we might be able to get two minion waves. With Chronos Pennant, you can do this pretty much indefinitely. But let's see. Um, I think if you place it right there, they will keep going. Let's see. Yeah. She took Bull Demon? That's fine. That doesn't affect us. Uh, see? What the heck? Yamoja is so weird. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does it infinitely, sometimes it only does it like once. I don't get it. I've had I've been able to get like 10 minion waves doing that once. Nice, dude! Perfect! Did she sell her defense or something? Oh my lord, she could became squishy very fast. That, that was a little anticlimactic way of ending the game. But either way, or is it? I, I killed her with the ultimate at the very edge of it. That's kind of hype. But hey, the auto attack kind of worked. I mean, I kind of wish I pressed T at the end to see how much damage my Telkans did. It's really hard to deal with hell. As Emoja. That's, that's just all I can really say because she just... Oh, did I get demoted today? Unfortunate. I'm only in Diamond 2 right now. I must have got demoted twice today because I was in Diamond 5 uh, earlier today. I wonder how that happened. Either way, GG. Auto-attack Emoja. It, it,
kind of works. It kind of works. I would only recommend it against gods with a lot of movement speed. Because I am plat. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good day. And see you guys next time.